You cannot deny it, Disney Cruise Line has shared some epic new stuff with us over the past weeks. First with Unlocking the Treasure, then Destination D23, and I'm here to tell you what's new. What's up guys, my name is Bay. welcome back to another video, and first of all, I just want to thank you all for 250 subscribers. This is a huge milestone as we are halfway to 500 subscribers. Please continue to hit that subscribe button as it helps support me and my channel so that I can bring you new epic videos just like this one. Now, let's get started. Alright, we have a lot to cover so I'm just gonna go ahead and get started with this. One week ago, Disney Parks Unlocking the Treasure premiered. As one of the many people who watched it live, I have to say, I was super impressed on what it brought to the table. Here's what we heard from Unlocking the Treasure. Unlocking the Treasure gave us an even bigger look at the Grand Hall of the Ship, revealing more details of what it looks like inside. The Grand Hall is made to represent the country of Agrabah from Disney's hit film Aladdin, which is quite ironic as the statues in the Grand Hall includes characters from the movie. You can see Princess Jasmine and Aladdin riding on the magic carpet, and it says that they're exploring a whole new world aboard the Disney Treasure. We're headed to a place where the employees get paid to take you out on an adventure, but not to bring you back. Welcome to the Skipper Society. At the Skipper Society, you can grab a refreshing beverage. By day, this place is open to all ages, and by night, Skipper Society transforms into an adult-only lounge. The Skipper Society is inspired by the Disney attraction, Jungle Cruise, which is one of my personal favorites. Now, you've all been outstanding today, but it's time to head out to the next location, which means I need all of you outstanding on the dock, which means get out of the lounge. It's time to head 20,000 leagues under the sea as we enter the Periscope Pub. The Periscope Pub is the first Disney Cruise Line venue inspired by one of Walt Disney's films. The Periscope Pub is made to represent a submarine exploring uncharted underwater territories. Don't worry, it's perfectly safe. Uh, well, mostly safe. You may want to keep an eye out for the giant squid. Rumors say it roams these parts, but I'm sure everything will be fine. But I'm sure most of you want to head back to the surface so that we can get to our next location. So let's go. All right, we're good. And it looks like we've landed in Sarabi. The nature of this space gives it such a peaceful feeling. It's the perfect vibe of a space just to hang out and chill with friends and family. In fact, that's just what this space is made for. At Sarabi, you can hang out with friends, family, and other passengers aboard the ship. Many events and shows are held at Sarabi. Make sure to keep an eye out for Timon and Pumbaa and make sure to tell them I said Hakuna Matata. Now let's head to the next space. Oh hey! It looks like we've reached the Walt Disney Theater. This is where all of the big Broadway type shows happen. The Disney Treasure shows may include Beauty and the Beast and a new show that is to be announced very soon. The shows on the other ships are outstanding and I cannot wait to see the new one they've been playing. Speaking of shows, our next locations on the lower decks include shows while you're enjoying a meal. Let's go check them out! Welcome to Worlds of Marvel. This restaurant is themed towards the Avengers, and as you enjoy a nice meal, you help some of your favorite Marvel characters protect the ship in an action-packed show. The Disney Treasure will be receiving a new show that has Spider-Man set as the main character, so be ready for an adventure filled with web-slinging action. Now, for the final location on our list for the lower decks. Plaza de Coco. As you enjoy your meal, Miguel and his family will be playing fan favorite music from the movie Coco in celebration of Dia de los Muertos. Plaza de Coco celebrates families coming together, and we all know that music is one of the many things that brings families together. So while you're eating at this restaurant, take some time to connect more with your family. It's finally time to explore the upper decks, so let's go! We've finally reached the upper decks. While it's not very different from the Disney Wish, the water slide known as the Aqua Mouse has received a new show. The Temple of the Golden Egg will debut on the Disney Treasure as the Aqua Mouse's new show. You'll explore an ancient temple with Mickey and Minnie, and who knows what you may stumble into. That's not all the Aqua Mouse news we have. If you look at this image, there is a new banner for an unknown Aqua Mouse show. From what it looks like, Mickey and Donald will be heading on an underwater adventure, while Goofy is just up on the surface sitting on a boat with no idea where Mickey and Donald have gone. Now I think it's time that we cool off from all this adventuring at Jumbo Suites. This space's theme is Zootopia, as you can see a statue of Judy and Nick enjoying ice cream together. Here, you can grab an ice cold snack to cool off a bit from what you may have done that day. Now, let's check out the Disney Treasure State Rooms.
Wow, just wow. We've covered so much information on this beautiful Disney treasure, and we're nearly done with it too. Our next piece of information is on the Stern characters. The Disney treasure will have two Stern characters, and it's going to be Peter Pan and Captain Hook. Those two have always gotten into misadventures while trying to find some sort of treasure, and I feel those two fit the ship's theme perfectly. And for our final piece of information that I have, Captain Minnie has taken on a brand new look on the Disney treasure to represent a sense of adventure. Introducing Voyager Minnie. Throughout your cruise, you may be able to catch her at a meet and greet for a photo. Also, Voyager Minnie's emblem can be located on the bow of the ship where all the magical art is found. Now, let's move on to the announcements from Destination D23. First of all, we were given some information on the ship that Disney Cruise Line bought that will sail in Asia. Its name has been revealed. The ship was named the Disney Adventure. The Disney Adventure will set sail in 2025 as the seventh ship in the Disney Cruise Line fleet. Here's some progress on the ship that I've found. Then, we were given an update on the Disney Treasure's construction status. You can see the block with the Grand Hall in it has been installed on the ship. Finally, we were given the name of Disney's new private island at Lighthouse Point. Disney Cruise Line has named it Lookout K, and so far, it's looking good. Then, the DCL team had a panel on how things have gone over the past 25 years. It was pretty cool to hear them talk about all the cool stuff, even the original concepts of their original ships. In my opinion, there was not much revealed at Destination D23 as I wished, but all the info we were given was very cool and I cannot wait to see what the future brings. And that's going to wrap it up for this video. Make sure to like and subscribe as it helps support me and my channel so that I can bring you more epic videos just like this one. Thanks for watching and I hope that you all have a magical day.